All right, this video is going to demonstrate how you can get the Molten MIDI 2 to play nice with the Beat Buddy. So uh, the Molten MIDI 2 is a whammy enhancer that connects to the whammy via MIDI and it sends out uh, MIDI information that controls a sequence of pitches um, to the whammy and it's got a tap tempo there and the light is flashing uh, with the tempo information and of course the Beat Buddy is just a drum machine in a pedal. I shouldn't say just, it's an awesome drum machine. But uh, here's just a demonstration of the, the Molten MIDI with the Whammy on my favorite patch. Right, and so you can change the, the tempo. Okay, the, the problem is, is if you try to play this with the beat buddy, right? Uh, you're no matter how good you think you're tapping, or how accurate your tapping of the tap tempo is, uh, there's always going to be some um, asynchronization there. So let me demonstrate that to you. So. One, two, three. Here we go. So you see it's drifting off now. And the longer it goes, the more asynchronized it's going to be. All right, so we're gonna to try to uh, sync these guys up via MIDI. And here we go. All right, so supposedly the Molten MIDI 2 can send out MIDI clock sync information. So if you go to Molten Voltage uh, website here and search for the Molten MIDI 2, so uh, if you scroll down all the way you will see, I'm, I'm using a Mac here, so I'm going to use the Mac Programming Utility and Factory Presets file. So I've already downloaded that. If you're using a Windows machine, here's your Windows Programming Utility and Factory Presets file. So I actually have both a uh, Mac and a Windows. I've tried them both. They both work nicely. So, but uh, I'm on a Mac right now. So I've clicked this, and on my desktop now, I have uh, the presets file, and I have the uh, Molten MIDI to program utility. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, plug in my MIDI to USB interface. So I'm using the M Audio Uno which uh, I've painstakingly found out is one of the only um, interfaces that you can use for this thing. Uh, it's cheap, though, that's good. But the Roland, I've tried the Roland uh, UM1, and it does not work. So I'm going to plug in my interface. There it is. Okay, and if you're using a Mac or a Windows, the drivers uh, they get installed automatically. It's really nice. And then I'm just going to double click the uh, programming utility. So there it is. Now, next thing we need to do is turn off any loops that the Molten MIDI is making. So currently we have this loop. So I'm just going to turn that loop off. Okay. I'm going to keep it connected to DC power and I'm going to uh, disconnect MIDI and instead then connect uh, to the MIDI out of the M Audio Uno. So this is the MIDI, MIDI out. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, put the camera down for a sec. All right, and so when I when I make that connection, you see the lights flashing, and the M, uh, the Molten MIDI two went red, red, yellow, yellow, red, red, yellow, yellow, and then there's a solid yellow. So that solid yellow means that uh, it's ready to accept uh, some some MIDI information here.
All right, so on the programming utility, um, first thing I want to do is I'm not going to adjust any of the presets, so I'm just going to open the preset files, file open. I'm going to go uh, find my uh, desktop where my presets are. Here they, here's the preset file, so there they all are. All right, and uh, I'm going to make sure that my USB Uno MIDI interface from M Audio is selected. And then uh, if you come down here, you see it says whammy only. Um, what I want this thing to do is send out whammy and clock information. So this is whammy and clock. And this affects, this setting down here affects all of the programs. Program 1, Program 2, etc. So you see Program 2 is also whammy and clock now. I want it to send that clock information. We're going to send that clock information to the beat buddy. Uh, so there we go. So we've got it. And I'm going to push send. Click yes. Okay, now Molten MIDI is uh, flashing again, red, red, yellow, yellow, red, red, yellow, yellow, and now it's a solid yellow. So the solid yellow means that uh, it's done. All right, so I'm going to go back. All right, so now using the, uh, the MIDI connector that Singular Sound sells, I've got the Molten MIDI going into the Beat Buddy, and then coming out of the Beat Buddy MIDI is the is uh, going to the Digitech Whammy. That's the blue cable. So from the Molten MIDI is going out into the Beat Buddy via the red MIDI cable, and then out of the Beat Buddy via the blue cable goes to the Whammy. So uh, this is going to be hard to see on the screen, I think, but uh, you can access Beat Buddy's MIDI commands by pushing uh, drum set and tempo together. So if you do that, let's see, yeah, go to main pedal and go to MIDI settings and MIDI in, we want to uh, disable everything except for the clock. So um, if I go to note on, it's disabled. Because it's it's sending the whammy information, we don't want the beat buddy to interpret the whammy information. So note off is disabled. Con control change. Control change is enabled because that's a tempo there's a tempo change there. So you want control change to be enabled, but under control change, um, I've got everything disabled. For example, mix volume is disabled, uh, accent hit is disabled. I've disabled all of these things except for tap tempo. So tap tempo is enabled. And again, you want to do that so that it doesn't interpret any of the whammy information. Okay, so that's under MIDI in, disable everything but tap tempo. Then MIDI out, we don't want to, we don't, since it's, the output is going to the whammy, we don't want it to send the clock, just the clock information. We want it to send the original information that it received. So if you go to MIDI out, change it, change the output type to MIDI through, MIDI through so that it passes all of that information that's receiving back to the whammy. Okay. So you set it up there. All right, let's check it out. So I'm going to hit, hit the uh, beep, start the beep buddy. So now I've got, I'll adjust the tempo. Let's see. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So I've got to adjust the tempo. I'm going to adjust the, uh, put a pop beat on again. Okay, so here we go. Here's the tempo. Able to adjust the tempo on the fly. All right, now let's see. Most importantly, is the uh, sequencer lining up with the uh, beat body? So here we go.
and it is. Alright, I'm gonna change the tempo. And again, the, the Molten MIDI is lining up with the beat body, so that's good. I'm going to slow down the tempo. Okay, let's try it again. Awesome. Okay, so, so everything's good. That's how you can get your Molten MIDI 2 to play nice with the Beat Buddy.